Tom.
Brian Dawkins was the best teammate I think I ever could and have had. He did everything the right way. Not only taught, you know, how to lead on the field, but off the field also. He was an inspiring guy. You know, a guy that uh, when the chips were down, you knew he was going to come with something either to put a smile on your face or to make you feel like you can run through a quick ball. Dawkins, this was one of those guys that no matter what he did, he did it to the best of his ability. Whether he was interacting with people or whether he was knocking somebody's head off on the field. You have a lot of leaders when things are going good. When things are going bad, everybody wants to take a step back. But Dawkins was always one of those guys that he led when he needed to. He spoke up when he needed to. And when he spoke, guys listened. I care about the ball. When all my haters and dollars, we go so about his teammates. You know, if anyone was down or got injured, he was one of the first ones to run out there uh, to provide that confidence and to let you know everything's going to be okay. And the guy that on the side right, he was up on his feet chin for the offense. And you don't see too many defensive guys standing up on the sideline the whole game cheering for the offense. So, uh, he was that guy leading the charge. With a break of the ball, get an interception, coming off the blitz and, and make a big hit on the cornerback. He was just always in the right place at the right time. One of the greatest plays to me, and I see it like it was yesterday, playing the, the Packers in the playoff game. He is firing deep. Look at Dawkins interception. He caught that interception. He got us down close to the field goal range where we were able to go on to the next round of the playoffs. I think he was just always waiting for that opportunity to get in the game, to make that play. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. I'm ready. Just knowing you having a Hall of Fame, all pro guy behind you. If you made a mistake, he was there to erase you. He was the eraser on the field. When you see a guy who sheds tears, uh, who bleeds, a place to injury, willing to do what it takes in order for his teammates to be successful, he will sacrifice himself. Awesome uh, so Some people are like, well, yeah, I try real hard. It's not a try. He would give everything he had. To me, he separated himself because he truly gave it that 100%. Of he punished receivers and ball carriers when he made a hit. Those guys are intimidated to catch the ball when Dawkins is back there roaming around. And that's the type of pressure that he brought week in and week out for 16 seasons. Okay.